Hi, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth, and I'm into Star Wars, Star Wars action figures and vehicles from Kenner and Hasbro, because they help me visualize what you guys are seeing on screen. So if you like the video, share, like, subscribe, notification button, all that YouTube stuff. In our 2012 Toys R Us exclusive speeder bike videos, I mentioned we were going to be looking at Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. And this is the Delta 7 Ether Sprite. This is what all the Jedi were flying in the Clone Wars. And this is what I'm guessing Obi-Wan was flying in Attack of the Clones too. So I like the triangular design of this Starfighter. It reminds me of this old very tiny Star Destroyer on a suction cup I used to have. You could hang it on your dashboard in your car, your, you know, your car windshield. Not that I ever owned a car, but, you know, it was a little Star Destroyer bobble that I got. It had a little Corvette that uh, you could pop in and out of the bottom. And anyway, here's the top of Obi-Wan's Starfighter there. You can see there are two laser cannons. And each little cannon can fire a projectile, but I'm not going to be shooting those off because chances are I'll lose them. So there we go. You can stick the missile right in there. I guess you can use them as missile launchers or laser cannons. On the bottom here, we have a hidden proton torpedo launcher. And we didn't see any Delta 7s or A to 2 interceptors fire missiles in the... TV show or the movies, James Luceno had Obi-Wan and Anakin firing off some missiles in his Labyrinth of Evil novel, though. I always liked that. I wish the uh, Jedi Starfighters had been able to fire missiles similar to the X-Wings and the Y-Wings and the A-Wings and the B-Wings. Our, our poor Jedi Knights, they, they didn't have any missiles to fire. Uh, Anakin, though, he fired some in the Gendy Tartakovsky micro-series, though. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, this cockpit can open here and I couldn't find a, a Jedi Knight to pilot this bad boy. Obi-Wan Kenobi is hiding in one of the figure bins somewhere. I imagine he's probably making out with the Duchess Satine even though he's not supposed to be. And no they don't make a Duchess Satine action figure from the Clone Wars but hey I'd buy her. She's cool. And she has a cool sister too. They made a Bo-Katan action figure. So this Jedi Starfighter has a bit of a gimmick to it, a play gimmick. You can split it into two vehicles. So let's take a look at each by themselves here. You can see this vehicle is piloted by Obi-Wan Kenobi's very own R4P17 droid. She's sitting there in the, uh, in the little cockpit. You can open this cockpit too if you want. I think you can. Yeah, you must. I mean, heck, I put her in there. Can we open it? Eh, maybe we'll leave the cockpit alone right now because I don't think it wants to open. But yeah, this is just the front of the cockpit or the front of the Starfighter, I should say. I like the little wings that pop out here. And even though it didn't do this in the show, I do like the idea of a Jedi Knight being able to split their Starfighter in two. Uh, you've got the Astromech in one, and then you've got the Jedi in the other one. They could be working in tandem when it comes to destroying the Vulture droids or the Hyena bombers or the uh, droid Tri-Fighters, things like that. Two is better than one, and apparently Hasbro really liked this idea because all those Delta Sevens from the Clone Wars line could split into two. I really wish I could have found... Ahsoka Tano's Jedi Starfighter. I think if I had, I would have bought her uh, Starfighter too, even though it would have felt exactly like this one. Uh, Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters. Always has been, always will be. So it would have been cool to find her uh, her Starfighter too. You know, like I said, if you have, you felt of one uh, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter from the Clone Wars line, you felt of them all. Because, you know, it's the same Starfighter, just repainted. So there we go. We uh, stuck the Starfighter back in, into the other one. Although, I don't know why I did that, because I didn't show off this one yet. Here, we'll uh, separate this again. And here's the, 
the portion of the ship that Obi-Wan pilots. I like this design because it's very, very reminiscent of the Ada 2 class interceptor, Darth Vader's that we took a look at. Very, very similar. It's got that uh, bulbous cockpit design there, even with the little cylindrical bit there. And then you see the two, the two halves there, that forked end. Like uh, like Vader's interceptor has, so that's pretty cool. I will say it's it's an interesting little play gimmick if you're into that sort of thing. I don't ever play with any of this stuff. I just dust it off and take looks at it whenever I'm watching the movies or right after. And so he's got the laser cannons on top of his, and uh, I guess R4 P17 there. She's got the hidden proton torpedo launcher she can go to town with. I always felt bad for poor R4 in uh, the Revenge of the Sith when she got decapitated by all those buzz droids. Let's get this starfighter back together here. If I can, you're going to be difficult, aren't you, my friend? Let's see. There we go. Goes right in there. Okay. Now, I mentioned the Gindy Tartakovsky series, so next time, I think we'll be taking a look at Anakin Skywalker's modified Delta VII Starfighter. I love that vehicle. I, I think I briefly showed it in a video that I, that I deleted from my channel, like the very first video that I ever did. I, I wasn't happy with it, so um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be showing Anakin's modified Jedi Starfighter from the Gindy series next time, so be here for that. May the Force be with you. Happy flying, and I will hear you guys next time.